Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can constrain our camera so that we can, if we were to export this out to Marmoset Viewer, we could basically control how people look at the model and they can't look around the back and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to carry on with the scene that I've got and I am going to create a new camera. Mm -hmm. Constrained. Okay, so that's the camera we're looking at. So this is our scene. Um, okay, so if I open the camera up, uh, we've got all the usual stuff that we can set up. Um, but one of the areas that is the I'm just going to switch the safe frame on so I can see what it would look like. 1920 by 1080 and um, we are going to in fact I'll tell you what let's do this so that we can get it out to Marmoset uh, so let's set the settings to 800 by 600 okay so that's how we're going to view it and then when we go to export to Marmoset viewer we're going to set that as 800, 600 as well. Okay, so what we want is we want to be able to rotate around this scene and get a sense of where it is. So I'm going to um, So the closest we probably want to get is there. If we look at this going in and out, we're getting an orbit distance, getting a value. So if I so if I go into the limits here, I can set a limit for the near distance and a limit for the far distance. And as you can see, it's actually creating sides. So if I limit the near and set this to uh, 1000 then as I you can see this is the transform uh, for the limits and as you can see as I get closer and closer to this you can see that's where it locks out and I can't go any further than that so that gives me a guide of how close I can get with this camera so if I want to set the far I can zoom out and let's say 2000 I want to set the far out at based on that and I have a far limit as well and if I set if I click that on then you'll be able to see that as well so you can see that I can basically flip between those two points and can't go any further so when we go to export this when anyone looks at this file they won't be able to get closer than that and they won't be able to get further away than that However, they can still get round the whole object within that. So what we want to do next is we want to constrain that. So to do that, we need to limit the orbit uh, for the pitch and for the yaw. So if we just take them one at a time, if we sort the pitch out, then you can see that we've got another set of these things. Um, <clears throat> which again, have a minimum and a maximum. Uh, so if we go to the the minimum and say we want you know, let's go somewhere in between the two let's say we be able to go to is around there well let's play with that value and bring that down somewhere like that and then that means that we're locked so basically we can't go higher than that we can only go as low as that point but maybe we don't want to be able anyone to be able to see underneath so if we come to about there and pull the max up to it's about eye level around there then a bit higher than that you can see it locks out at that so that's the most we can move up and down 
So we can still move all the way around, we can still zoom some of the way in, some of the way out, and we can pitch some of the way up and some of the way down, but it locks out. So the last thing we want to do is set this one, which is the yaw. Um, now you can either go in here, and this is the same for the orbit as well, you can change this, or you can actually do it by eye. So if we get to kind of where we want to be able to see, so at the minute I'm locking out at that, I'm dead on in the middle of my view. If I push that round a bit, you'll find that I can go. Maybe I want to go as far as there. If I bring that level with my view, more or less, then that's it. It's limited to that. And maybe I only want to go as far as there. So if I limit that to there, that's as far as that's going to go. So essentially that is now the shape of, of the influence I've got. It basically zooms from within here to here and I've got a yaw or I can go around the object that much and I can go up and down. So it's almost like a window of, of where I can view it. As that's ready, all ready to go, then we can send it out we can export it out, uh, we could export it to Marmoset Viewer if we wanted, um, so we can fill this information in, um, we can set here which we did already, and then you can send it straight to ArtStation if you want, or in this case I'm just going to give it a preview, so I'm just going to hit preview, and we have... Wow.